For the past couple of months, many students have been forced to continue their education over the internet, in some cases learning new ways to use technology. That also applies to some students whose education normally includes more hands-on learning for careers in the construction industry. One organization that helps connect those students to opportunities is the Compliance Mentor Group. To tell us how that was continued during the time of the shutdowns is its founder and president, Nicole Richter. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me. Nicole, I know uh, the, the usual description here is the construction industry. So it sounds to me as if this is not strictly the building trades. This could also maybe even mean architects and engineers, wouldn't it? Yes, we usually call it AEC, architect, engineer, and construction. And uh, what about the students you're working with? You seem to have a, a, a range here of anything from high school into the, at least the beginnings of college. Yes, we work with seniors in high school and post-secondary schools. We've partnered for the last uh, eight years with Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology, which is a post-secondary school for students. Uh, we have students in their construction management program. We also have students in their HVAC and electrical programs. And then we have a, a wide variety of high school students in vocational uh, programs, Madison Park Technical Vocational High Schools or Boston Public Vocational School. And we also work with students at Excel High School, which is a South Boston high school, as well as some other um, greater uh, Boston vocational high schools. Well, one thing I, I pick up right away here is that you're working with students who are very underrepresented as far as some of these job opportunities, aren't they? Yes, uh, in fact, part of our program is to work with construction management companies to help them meet their Boston resident job policy, which is a policy in Boston that requires a certain amount of residents, minorities, and females, and apprentices on project sites. So this program is a, an opportunity for our construction management companies to maximize their efforts, as well as their um, partnering schools to connect with some of these champions in the industry. Well, if we can rewind back to uh, what we still think of as normal times, uh, what would these students be doing, especially as far as any kind of hands-on or, or worksite learning? Well, there is no work going on on the project sites for our students because it's our mostly union projects and they're not in the union yet. So a lot of it is group learning activities, job shadowing and individual mentoring. So we start off in phase one with a group of students who come into a project site um, and they go through different um, safety orientations, a group learning exercise, do a site tour with the construction management team. So a lot of them are really excited to see what a project like looks like, a large commercial project. Um, and then in phase two, we bring students on the project site and mirror a day of a, a construction worker. So we're there at 6 a.m. in the morning and this happens on November, December, where it's dark outside, students have to navigate how to get to the job site through public transportation. So it's really building up not only career readiness skills, but exploring opportunities in the industry. I, I can certainly understand how a visit to a work site connects to a hard hat job, uh, but how does it get a student more focused on engineering or, or architecture? Well, on the project site, there's um, a variety of professionals on the job site in addition to trades, uh, folks working um, carpentry, plumbers, electricians, and all of them work with the construction management team. Um, some of them may be working uh, with an architect directly or a structural engineer. Uh, one of our partnering um, project sites um, had the structural engineer on the project site mostly every day we were there. And so some of our students got to mentor um, and ask the structural engineer questions. And it was really informative for them as um, they were learning about um, what career path they wanted to, to um, study in school and it really kind of helped them guide them in terms of academic courses and career aspirations for them. Well, your, your program has been around for a, a number of years right now. Anything you can say about how much success there has been with students moving into these opportunities? Absolutely. Well, we always say people hire who they know. And through our program, we're allowing students to get to know um, some of our construction management teams, some of the other industry contractors that are working on the project sites, where their opportunity may not have been there before. Um, we're allowing them uh, throughout the course of their academic year to come in and meet professionals and get to know them and build their workforce readiness skills. Um, and typically, 
at the end of the year, we have a signing day event where students can um, sign on with their part, their mentors. Um, so uh, we also have students who are applying for union um, positions and through the program, we've created a, um, a great opportunity for the New England um, Council of Carpenters to come in and um, see students and evaluate them and do their normal interviews that allow them to connect with some of our contractors on the project site. So allowing this signing day opportunity to really um, make a milestone for the project team, as well as for students, this could be their first opportunity working in the industry. So you have this successful formula, and as of a couple of months ago, you got to do everything differently. Uh, what has that been like for students? Um, it's been a, a challenge for them. Um, I know we were getting ready to actually um, do our CMP program on one of our project sites. Um, it was March um, 16th um, that they actually, or March 17th, they actually closed the construction job sites, and we were supposed to be on the project site on the 13th. And I uh, took the initiative to kind of cancel the program because um, a lot of our students um, are coming from all over the city, and we didn't want to um, have a problem, so um, we decided to cancel that. I think that was the right decision. Um, but then shortly after, I connected with my students um, to see how they were doing with their remote learning, and a lot of them were still struggling uh, to connect with their teachers or their friends, and so I felt we needed to, to really do the Zoom meetings um, to connect and allow them to have um, a, an opportunity to emotionally connect with their friends, but also kind of see the progress on the project site, show that our mentors were thinking about them, uh, and get them excited to still um, participate and see they're graduating this, this May and, um, and June so that there's still opportunity out there for them. Now, there's opportunity, but what we're hearing is that even at work sites that are reopening, there are new restrictions. We have all these question marks about what colleges are going to do. Um, do you worry about these students maybe somehow losing heart along the way? Absolutely, and that's why we um, continue with the Zoom meetings. Uh, we combined all of our project sites, um, so we had a cohort of about 20 students in the Zoom meetings instead of being on individual project sites. Um, and we were able to bring in students past CMP mentees who had gone through the interview process and share their experience. So we're prepping them on what to expect. Um, we also brought on each of our um, CMP project teams and talked about what the project site is gonna look like once um, constructions reopen. So any anxiety they may have, they have an understanding and expectation of what, what will happen. So that I think that brings some um, lessons in anxiety uh, as well as um, allow students to take the next step for them, whether it's awaiting the interviews for some of the union positions or connecting with some of their mentors about other opportunities. We have students, again, from Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology who are con studying construction management um, and had some of their offer letters rescinded because of the um, COVID-19 cutbacks. So again, it's, it's trying to inspire them to stay um, steadfast in their ambitions and that um, things will change. Well, what about the importance of this contact, even almost in a personal way between these students and the mentors? Absolutely, it is about who you know and connecting and showing our students how to make those professional connections. Um, that's what we, we, we build in our program is um, workforce readiness skills, showing up on time, uh, being attentive. Um, it's really more about creating personal relationships. Um, we've actually partnered with um, Mass Mentoring Partners this year and instituted a program called Connected Futures, which allows students to um, connect with professionals on the project site, um, and it shows them how to connect, um, whether it's through a mobile app or through writing thank you notes, um, or just having conversations, um, it's been a great opportunity for them to know their boundaries as well. well One other thing in the mix that these students are getting help with in, in these sessions online is financial literacy. Why is this so important to them at this time and at this stage of their life? Well, they're making a big decision after they leave high school or graduate from college. Um, some of them are leaving their their house, their home with their parents and trying to find their first apartments or buying a car to get to their job. 
So we did partner with the Boston um, Bar Association and they offer a financial literacy course. So we've had, um, we were able to continue that um, segment and it was great. We had a lot of participation from our students, a lot of questions about how to purchase some, a large purchase, whether it's a car or an apartment, uh, the importance of a credit card and credit score. Some of our high school students um, are now being a little bit more attentive um, because you know, they may have a credit card now that they're 18 and uh, they may be pursuing um, trying to get a, a car to travel. So, so it's great to kind of see this transition and maturity from them as well. And Chris, maybe you, you know this too well to even think of saying it maybe, but uh, uh, one of the main barriers to students finishing their higher education is money, isn't it? It is. It is um, definitely looking at how to apply for loans, uh, what they should look for. And, and that was a great opportunity for the Boston Bar Association to come in and have um, volunteer lawyers, volunteer judges come in and talk about how you can do that effectively um, and what to look out for, what are some of the scams that you might see. So, um, and it's also been a great opportunity for some of our students who are interested in going into the building trades. There's a lot of articulation agreements with Benjamin Franklin Institute of Institute of Technology or Wentworth Institute of Technology as they offer articulation agreements that students can come in, work during the day, and then take classes at night um, while still being in the Carpenters Union, another union. So it's been a great opportunity for them to continue higher education as well. Finally, uh, Nicole, if anyone wants to find out more about what you're doing and maybe uh, take advantage, is there a way they can follow up on that? Absolutely. You can come to our website, which is www.tcmentor.com. We really are looking for more sponsors um, to, to host a CMP. So we've had four great sponsors this year um, with Acom Tishman, um, Walsh Brothers, Shamut Design and Construction, and Moriarty. Those are our um, CMP construction management teams. And we'd love to be on more projects um, this coming year. We start planning in, in the summertime and launching our program in September with the schools. So feel free to reach out to me on my website. Really looking forward to um, meeting more developers and owners who are interested in helping out uh, some of our urban um, students.